Welcome back fans of all things Disney. Today's <laughs> video is going to be just a walkthrough of Booster Packs and Beyond and some of their wall pins. So if you have watched any of my other videos before, you know that I have several dogs and they will randomly bring me strange toys. This is the chicken and sometimes you want me to throw it. So I hope that's not going to be too distracting. But um, on this channel, I've done a few different walkthroughs at Booster Packs and beyond. This one is going to focus on their corkboard walls of pins. That's been the one that most people have been asking for is just to kind of get a sense for the types of pins that they have on there. So I'm going to go ahead and do a quick walkthrough on that. Um, just a couple things before I start with the walk, <laughs> before I start with the walkthrough. Please make sure you hit subscribe if you like the content of the channel so I can get you entered into uh, the drawing for our July slash August giveaway. And what we give away each month is a box of, a customized box of Disney goodies. So whoever the winner might happen to be, um, then I go shopping for them. But you do have to be a subscriber. New subscribers in the time frame of the contest get three uh, entries into the drawing. Existing subscribers always have one as our thanks to you. And then you get additional entries anytime you comment on videos that are uploaded over the course of the month. All right, so this is little Miss Maja and she is just enthralled with me right now. Hi, sweetie. Yes, and then Miss Iris wants her chicken. She keeps bringing it back over. <laughs> And you couldn't see it, but Mushi, uh, one of the cats, was actually just all over the place here too, but below the camera. So it's going to be that kind of a video. I do apologize. Uh, <laughs> in fact, what I might do is just put music over the walkthrough of Booster Packs and Beyond so you can just focus on the pen. So I think I will do that rather than do any kind of a uh, talk over so let me give you some additional information. Now this video is, it is just a, a walkthrough, um, but I am a personal shopper. All the information on shopping fee and all of that is in the description box below. But in a nutshell, at the outlet locations, my shopping fee is 20% of the merchandise total. At non-outlet locations like Booster Packs and Beyond, my shopping fee is 10% with a minimum of $5 shopping fees. So if you are seeing things in any of these booster packs and beyond walkthrough videos, just kind of keep that in mind where the shopping fee is once you hit $50 in merchandise and you do have to do the calculation. But the minimum of $5 shopping fee applies regardless of the number of items that you get. And one of the things I love most about booster packs and beyond uh, corkboard walls is just the sheer variety of pins that they have on the corkboard. Um, if you're looking for a hidden Mickey, if you're looking for just one pin to complete that set from a mystery box or something like that, you're liable to see that on that corkboard. And what the owners had told me is sometimes when they get new mystery sets in, I apologize for the noise, the dogs are wrestling over there, um, but when they get new mystery packs and sometimes what they'll do is they will just open a few packs and then they will put those pins up on the board or if they know somebody is looking for one particular one um, they might open a pack or two to see if they can get it and then they can put the others up on the cork board now what's difficult though with the cork board is uh, they don't price the pins on the front so if you find one that you want you have to pull that off of the cork board flip it over and kind of take a look at it on the back just to see what the price is so you might see something get all excited that it might be a four or five dollar pin only to turn it over and see that it's maybe 13 14 15 dollars and that's not to imply that the pin might not be worth that um, it's just you've got that extra little step that you have to do to make sure that you know what you are spending now typically the pins have the little color coding system on there uh, when I did my walkthrough I really didn't um, turn a lot of them over just because you have to pull them off of the corkboard and do it and every time you're pulling a pin out of corkboard and then putting it back you're running the risk of, of damaging um, like where where the pin itself actually is kind of soldered on onto it so I didn't do that very much. There were a few that I, I did do. I hope that you enjoy this walk around. Um, this is relatively up to date. Obviously, I might not be going back for a week or a week and a half, but if you see a pin on there or several pins on there that you want, you can send me an email at mickeysmagicaldelivery at gmail.com. It is best if you can take screenshots 
of um, in the video of the specific pins and then indicate those for me so that I am sure I am getting you the exact pin that you are looking for. Um, but as you can tell just from doing this little bit of a walk around, there are a ton to pick from, whether it's a specific character or it's a specific series of pins or a theme or something like that. So again, I cannot recommend Booster Packs and Beyond enough if you are going to be coming into the Orlando area. So I would definitely encourage you to check it out if you happen to be here.